So another option for creating a website for your artwork or for yourself is WordPress. It's really common. Um, a lot of people use it. It's fairly, uh, it's free to use um, unless you want a custom domain and then you need to host with web space. Um, and a lot of people use it because it works pretty well um, and because of the low cost. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is customize your website. Um, so WordPress is a little clunky because it has a front and a back end and you're kind of flip-flopping between them. Um, the main thing that you're going to want to change here is your site identity, especially your tagline, because that sort of shows up in a lot of different places. So you can kind of see here on the left sidebar um, how that's working. You can also remove that if you want. And whenever you do anything in WordPress, you have to publish it so um, that it can be viewable by other people. Um, the other thing you can do with customization is you can change the um, color and backgrounds um, as well as some other things. So let's say we want to put an image in the background. We can do that through the media library or by uploading files. Since we haven't uploaded any files yet, um, we'll have to kind of drag and drop something on there. So I'm just going to use a piece that I created last year as a background. And we can kind of start from there. If you have stuff uploaded, you can click on the Media Library tab and select from the Media Library. And um, that kind of works well also. So then you hit Select, and you can see that it shows up as the background. So another thing you might want to do is change like the default theme font. Um, this one kind of doesn't look um, very great. So we can change it to whatever you want, regular, normal size, anything. And then when you publish it, the change goes into effect. You can also change the location of the menus and the way that they work there. Um, another thing that you're going to need to do is um, work with the pages on your site. So if you add a page, you can call it the about page or whatever, then in that uh, blank area, you can start typing and create your biography or any kind of information that you want there and then publish it. So if you hit that add button, you can also add things there as well. So now that you've added that page and published it, you can see that um, the about page kind of shows up in that menu. Um, if you click on site pages, you can edit those pages and, and all that stuff. So any pages that are already created, you can uh, go through and do that. You may also want to turn off comments, um, and you can do that um, under the page settings option. You can also turn off some sharing stuff. So when you refresh it, you see that, that all disappears and looks a little bit cleaner. Um, the other awkward thing is that when you create a page, you actually have to manually add it to the menu um, so that it actually does get published and is also navigable. So if we close out of that, um, you can also um, do some stuff with blog posts. Right now, the blog post is the front page, and that works for a lot of websites. You may want to do that so that any kind of news that you have shows up um, and is the first thing that people see. If you wanted to add a bunch of images, say you're adding a gallery of your work, you could do that by clicking media and bulk uploading there. Um, and that kind of makes things pretty easy. If you allow comments on your blog or on your website, you can see them here. All the comments, the ones that are pending, that you've approved, and so on. WordPress has a lot of plugins that you can add to change the functionality of your site, and you can feel free to play around with some free ones. Um, you can also uh, change the themes through customizing that, and um, that kind of works pretty well. There's a lot of paid themes, um, but there's plenty of free ones that you can mess around with as well and change the colors and stuff. So um, I would recommend 
changing out of the default theme into a free theme um, so that you can get something a little more um, customizable and unique to you.